body of kidnapped American computer engineer Bruce Morganhold was discovered in a village in Peru this morning. Implicated in the kidnapping and failed ransom attempt is Hugo Lacerda, alleged leader of the People's Voice, a newly formed guerrilla organization. Here we see the USS Clarence E. Walsh en route to the Yellow Sea for her first assignment amid rising tensions in the region. Dubbed the flagship of the 21st century fleet by Defense Secretary Mason, who reaffirmed America's commitment to our Japanese allies. It is our hope that the presence of the Walsh, now the world's premier electronic and information warfare platform, will help defuse the tensions in the region. Information you recovered in Peru makes it look like Hugo Lacerda was contracted by a third party to kidnap and interrogate Morganholt. His payment was in weapons. He appears to be using those arms to equip his own men and pay off debts to other guerrilla groups. Maybe Lacerda is a nickel anti loser, but maybe he's learned some things from Morganholt that we don't want anyone to know. Maria Narcissa is out to sea, so there's no escape. Board her, search her, find out who Lacerda's been dealing with, and then. Make sure he doesn't have an opportunity to spread what he knows. Fifth, freedom. What Morgan Holt knew about the mass kernels, recursive computation, and weaponized algorithms is akin to what Oppenheimer knew about atoms or what Turing knew about digital computers. Project Watson, the United Nations investigation into the mass kernels, will be remembered for centuries alongside the Manhattan Project, its fundamental research that changed the nature of warfare forever. Imagine if Che Guevara had kidnapped and interrogated Oppenheimer in 1959, and you have a pretty accurate parallel of the situation we're in right now. We're going to send the helicopter out about 40 clicks ahead of the Maria Narcissa and leave you in the water on her course. You'll board covertly onto the bow. Search the ship and the holds. Find out what you can about the arms shipments and who Lacerda is dealing with. Satellite imaging shows the Maria Narcissa racks a small launch on the stern. That will be your primary extraction. If things go badly, we might be able to arrange to pluck you out of the sea. We'll keep the walsh inside the helicopter range of the target vessel at all times. If something goes wrong, we should be able to assist in extraction. If you play it safe, we'll recover you in the ship's launch from open water once you're out of visual range of the ship. We just pulled up Silvestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. Lacerda was contracted by a third... just pulled up Silvestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. <laughs> don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Is someone moving around out there?
something going on out there. Oh crap, I don't need to do that. Silvestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. Silvestinia's last dry dock report for the Maria Narcissa. They have a newly installed central alarm system. Don't tell me. Three alarms and the mission is over? Of course not. This is no video game, Fisher. But you don't want the whole place alerted to your presence. Keep it under control. It's been a while since I played this, so I'm a little rusty.
Fisher, it looks like Lacerda is spreading around his newfound wealth, paying off debts with some of the arms that were delivered to him. You want me to scan any more weapons crates? Better idea. Plant tracking devices on them, and we can see who they end up getting delivered to. Okay. Good job, Sam. That's the first crate. Keep your eyes peeled for any more. All right. Fisher, we just intercepted a radio call from the Maria Narcissa. She's reporting a hull leak and asking for an escort. The ship is sinking. No, but apparently several compartments are flooded. You'll need to activate the bilge in the forward machine room to access all the cargo holds. Fisher, those compartments are flooded. You need to activate the emergency bilge pump to drain them. I just stab him. In this game, in Chaos Theory, you have a combat knife, whereas in the other two games, you, you, you can only knock out people. But now you can stealth kill them. There should be a large pump in here that you can use to drain the forward cargo hold. I'll find it. You hit R1 to stealth kill, and you hit L, and you hit L1 to knock out. You want to start that pump there or what? I don't know how this stupid thing works. Captain Diego says hurry up or we'll sink. that Lacerda's shipping container is somewhere in this compartment. The bill of lading should be mounted on the side. I'll have a look around. There it is. 
Good work, Sam. It looks like whoever delivered these arms to Lacerda was operating through a proxy. Who? Mercantil Costa Fuerta Seguridad de Panama. Offshore banker? chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. You still need to recover the transit ledger so we can figure out who else the Cerda is dealing with. Try the ship's office. They should have that information. Yeah. Tell me you found the Lydra. Somewhere on the top deck, in the side, and there's a power plant on the stern. Think there is enough for everyone? Yeah, but I wouldn't trust them. the only way you can enter first person view is by using the uh, what's this called again? I'm just gonna call it scan mode. There was another name for it but I forgot what it was. You can avoid that light by taking this shortcut. Of course, you can always use your EMP thing on your pistol to knock out the light. ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them.
Ya, you know what I don't understand? Here we are, loaded up with Colombian, best coffee in the world. And the coffee tastes like bad guano. Exactly. What's up with that? Because Captain Diego buys the cheapest coffee he can find. Why? Because cheap coffee sweats more. Makes it harder for the dogs to smell what's hidden inside the coffee. Ah, that makes sense. Still, wouldn't mind a good cup of coffee. Tell me about it. Who is there? I can hear you moving. I'm hearing things. It's not good. Let's just stay calm. There's nothing. Look. Cigar chomping kind. Great. I love bureaucrats. Sam, you're near the ship's office. This deck, starboard side. I'll find the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. Yeah, you know what I don't understand? Here we are, loaded up with Colombian, best coffee in the world. And the coffee tastes like bad guano. Excellent. It's not supposed to do that, is it? But as far as I know, six feet. Hey, did Lacerda pass through here? Yeah, he was here a few minutes ago, complaining about the ledgers. Bastard. I hope someone cut his throat. Lacerda is not a man to trifle with. I'm not going to trifle with him. I'm hoping someone else will do it. That someone would experience painful death at Lacerda's hands. Mm-hmm. Where is Lacerda now? I don't know, and I don't want to know. What 
one was that? Are you serious? the transit ledgers there. That's where they should be keeping them. That's their alarm system, Fisher. I'm warning you, be careful. ledgers are forged. They say Lacerda's container is full of sugarcane and coconuts from a man named Nikariakov in Malaysia. Nikariakov. I remember that name. Nikariakov is a code name that Philippine drug dealers use to indicate arm shipments. So instead of nuts from Malaysia, Lacerda got guns from an imaginary Russian? Exactly. Now why don't you go find out where Lacerda is hiding? The captain probably knows where he is. Good idea. Why don't you head to the bridge and ask? No, but I heard him yelling at someone a few minutes ago. That's why I came here. Uh, what was he yelling about this time? Complaining about his quarters or something. Bastard. Thinks now that he's got a little cash, he's king of the world. He'll get his one of these days. You'll see.
I hear you have a special passenger tonight. What? Oh, who? I'm the guy who's here to cash the checks Lacerda has been writing. Where is he? That son of a... He was provoking my men, so I gave him my own cabin to shut him up. That's very kind of you. Be careful. He brought some personal bodyguards. They look dangerous. I'm not afraid of Lacerda's thugs. No. They're not Peruvian. They're Europeans, I think. Bros. Hmm. Thanks for the tip. The pleasure is all mine.
Okay, Sam. Judging by the numbering on the crates, that's about half of them. See if you can find the rest. I tell you, never, never in my life have I been so insulted. I don't see why you're so upset. He got you past the inspection. You think it's easy to get through the canal zone with all the crackdowns these days? I don't care if it's hard. You think my job is easy? No. But this insult, forcing me to bribe an inspector out of my own pocket. No. This big shot, this vice president, Senor Segundo Ruiz de Medeiros. Ha! I saw him. Fine. Mark my words. I'll make him pay. I'll make him pay double, or my name is not Hugo Lacerda. Great. I need another.